Welcome to Boot to Boom Now, the number one live streaming show, the number one live streaming entrepreneur show, taking you from bootstrap to booming. We are here every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, and we are here every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. We are here every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern to get your PayPal popping, your business booming, and your life and your relationships to explode. Hey guys, good evening everyone. Welcome to Boot to Boom. We are live every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern and we are all about helping entrepreneurs go from bootstrap to booming. We're here to get your PayPal popping, your business booming, and your life and relationships to explode. And if you have been watching us for the last, what, maybe three weeks now? You know we have been doing special episodes of Boot to Boom here on Facebook Live. Uh, we are normally housed on YouTube, so you can definitely check us out on YouTube. Make sure you follow us, Boot Number Two Boom, on uh, on uh, on uh, YouTube, and go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our past interviews and everything that we've done there. We'll post a link up in the chat as well. But for the next couple of weeks, we will be here on the Facebook Live before we take a break. So you can definitely join us here. And, you know, we're really excited. You know, the whole purpose of coming on the Facebook, really, we wanted to do something a little bit different, uh, do something new. And we wanted to hear from you. So if you are in the chat, shout us out. We want to hear from you. Who are you? Where are you from? Are you in business now? Are you interested in being in business? Are you just checking this out because it looked cool because I invited you? You know, so where, why, whoever you are, wherever you're from, whatever your interest is, we definitely want to hear from you. And as we talk about the topic tonight, again, we really want to hear your input. And I'll certainly be shouting you all out and reading some of the comments. So if you see me looking down, you know, I'm not disinterested. I'm actually looking at my phone to see your comments, okay? But, um, but that's why we're doing it on YouTube, because we really want to hear from you. We really want to get engagement from our peeps. And uh, today's show is really all about a Facebook group that has gone viral. It has literally exploded. And we were going to talk about this last week. We actually had some te technical difficulties, so we didn't have our show last week. Um, but even since then, the group has exploded so much since last week. So... Unless you have been under a rock, I'm sure you've probably heard about the Beard Games Matters group. And this, you know, what we're talking about today is not so much about the group as it is the lessons that every entrepreneur should learn from this group really going viral. So that's what we're going to talk about. If you've heard about the Beard Games Matter group, let us know. Post a one up in the group because I want to know. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Have you been under a rock? You don't know what I'm talking about? Um, the black men with beards, well, they're not all black, but mostly black. The black men with beards and the women who love, 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 love them. Women going crazy in this group. We'll talk about that later. So, but before we get into all of that, let me introduce myself. If you do not know me, you may, maybe you've been under a rock too, so you don't know me, right? Uh, so if you don't know me, if you don't know my amazing co-host, my name is Ava Laura. This is my amazing co-host, Jessica. And uh, before we get into things, you know, you should know who you're listening to, right? So let me just tell you a little bit about Jessica. Uh, Jessica is an experienced online business consultant that has over a decade in assessing SME business owners within the digital media sector. 
And throughout her 25 years of practice, she's worked with well-known Wall Street and Fortune 500 companies, uh, television celebrities, healthcare providers, leading public figures, and community leaders. Jessica, a.k.a. Jaw, really believes that everyone here has a purpose, and her purpose is really all about helping you to show up and show out within the digital media sector. So if you want an amazing show like Boots of Boom, if you want a podcast, Jessica is your girl. Hit her up. She's the person to talk to. Uh, you can contact her at bit.ly forward slash talk number two jaw. Thank you so much, Ava Laura. So now I get to introduce my amazing co-host and also the founder of Boots Boom, Ava Laura. Ava Laura is an internationally celebrated intuitive consultant and life coach who takes her clients from whole to wholeness in their life, relationship, and business. She guides them through a powerful healing process that helps them discover who they are, who they wish to be, and how to get there. So if now's the time for you to live a freedom-focused life, detox yourself of limiting beliefs that no longer serve you, and create an unrecognizable reality, then Ava Laura is the guy you've been waiting for. So you can get a consultation today by emailing Ava Laura, Ava Laura at avalora.com, which is super easy, right? So you should definitely be able to send her an email. So I am super duper excited. So let's go ahead and jump into this beer game matter stuff. <laughs> So, you know, I, I, you know, we entitled this um, the five lessons that every entrepreneur should learn from the Beer Games Matter group. And I'm sure there's more than five lessons, but, you know, there are five things that we thought were really important for everybody to know and everyone to consider. Um, but I did put a question up in the chat. If you missed it, welcome, guys. I know people are kind of popping in. If you've heard about the Beer Games Matter group, let me know in the chat. Uh, we want to hear from you. Um, if not, just a little bit about it. And um, these are things that I've just learned. So I joined the group about two weeks ago. And and I heard about it because basically a bunch of women were talking about it. Essentially, that's what happened. It was word of mouth. A bunch of women were talking about it. And um, I was like, what is this group that everyone's talking about? Let me check this out. And when I joined the group, there were probably a little over 100,000 people in this group, okay? 100,000 people. Now, mind you, I said this was, I joined two weeks ago. It was on a Saturday, actually, because I remember I, like, literally wasted my whole Saturday watching this group. I, I, you, know, you know, like, when you see a train wreck and you just can't turn away, like, you know you shouldn't be watching. You got other things to do, but you just can't stop yourself. So it was a Saturday, and I was just in there stuck, like, oh, my God, I can't even believe I'm watching this, but... <laughs> That's another story. So there were 130,000 people. To date now, there are over a million people in this group. Yeah. Over a million. Yeah. In two weeks. In two weeks. Let me see when I joined. Uh, when I I've joined, never seen anything like that before. There was a million when I joined. So let me see when I uh, yeah, you came in a little bit later. I came in late. Um, and I only came in because of you. <laughs> <laughs> word of mouth. Word of mouth. So that's an important lesson for you all right there. Like, word of mouth is still king. You know, yeah. we talk about marketing and we talk about content and videos and all of these things. But word of mouth is still king and queen in your business. Absolutely. Absolutely. Never discount word of mouth. I, you know, I don't. I can walk at five. I'll look at it later. But um, yeah, I joined because of you. And um, I got to say that uh, when I got in there, I was like, what is it? Like, why am I here? Uh, what, what are we doing in here? And then I said, oh, that's what we're doing in here. So, um, and really, it's the comments, right? It's the conversations that happen yes. underneath the pictures. So it's not even necessarily just the pictures. It's also the conversations that are happening because of the pictures. And yes. as you are, I'm not sure if you all know or not. Um, or do you want to talk about him moving it into a dating site yet? Or you want to wait? Well, no, we can wait for that. But essentially what it is, if you all don't know, Beer Games Matter is a Facebook group. Uh, started by a man from North Carolina who has a beard. And it was really all about just men posting up pictures of their beard. 
right? And the women who appreciated beards. And so what happened is, He's a business owner and he started the, and I don't, and, I, and you know, and this is sort of secondhand knowledge. I haven't spoken to him um, directly, but the intention for the group was to sell these products for men with beards, right? Yeah. So skincare products, you know, products that'll help your beard grow, all of these different things. So that was the intention for the group. What happened is the group went viral. So it was in the Huffington Post. It's been in other publications since then. But I really think it was a Huffington Post article that really set it off. And so then it just became like this whole other thing. <laughs> it just morphed into something else. And so, you know, he started it with the intention of celebrating beards and selling his beard products. And then it kind of shifted into something else. <laughs> that kind of was out of his control. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the first thing, you know, that I looked at when you're looking at your business, right? Because here's the thing is particularly if we're on social media, right? Yeah. If you're on watching us on Facebook live now, you are on social media. If you are a business owner, one of the things that we hope for is that your group or your product, your service, uh, your comment, your video, whatever will go viral. Right. Yeah. That's one of the things that we hope for. And, and one of the things that I thought about is, you know, what is it that we really want in our business? Is it that you want, do you want popularity? Right. And that's, you know, in something that you're doing going viral or do you want profitability? Yeah. Because just because you are popular doesn't necessarily mean you are going to be profitable. Yeah. So he started I, this group, but are these people really buying his products? And I think it's great if we go ahead and, and read the definition of viral, because I think a lot of people say that word, but they don't know actually what that means and how it would correlate to business success. Right. Um, so viral. Um, and I'm reading this just off of the Google dictionary. Right. Relating to or involving an image, video, piece of information, et cetera, that is circulated rapidly and widely from one Internet user to another. So it basically is that everyone is just circulating your content consistently, right? Um, we, she, you touched on it a tad bit that Huffington Post had um, done a piece on it. But the thing about it is that when one publication, especially a large public publication such as uh, Huffington Post, touches your product or service or what have you and covers it, then other publications follow suit. So now you're getting all these other arms and all these other media outlets and, and exposure to different audiences where you can sell your products and services. And usually that's why a lot of people want to go viral. However, as Ava Laura just said, a lot of people also just want to go viral because they want people to look at them. <laughs> it's not really even about selling any particular thing or doing anything, but they just want the fame that's connected to a viral vote photo video x y and z right so um i think it's a valid point that we talk a little bit about do you want um your business to become profitable or just popularity of you know yourself or the thing that it is right um so yeah i just wanted to stop there to really give a definition of what viral is and what that means Absolutely. I think that's really important. And I think for you as business owners, that's something that you need to think about beforehand. You know, when yep. you are doing um, your market research, when you are strategizing all of these things, you need to think about that. Do you want popularity or do you want profitability? And is it necessary for your business to be popular in order to have profit? Exactly. Is that necessary? Or so, because depending on what you want, that's going to determine your strategy, right? Mm -hmm. And Jessica, at, you know, in the digital media sector, you know, there are certain things that you can do that's going to help make you uh, popular, right? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, that's, that's going to really determine your strategy because I know a lot of business owners and we've interviewed them on Boot to Boom again, you know, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, if our, you know, we can post that up in the group, post the link for our YouTube channel in a group, yeah. go ahead and subscribe to that because you'll see 
you watch a lot of these interviews and a lot of the people that we've interviewed. And again, these are business owners who went from bootstrap to booming. That's the point of this show. So they started out with nothing and now they're successful and they're making six figures, seven figures. Um, and they really talk about their journey. And one of the things that you'll see is that a lot of them aren't even really necessarily on social media. Yeah. They are building six and seven figure businesses without social media. Exactly. So in this day and age, a lot of us feel like we have to use social media, um, particularly if we are bootstrapping it, uh, because it is a free or very inexpensive way, um, you know, to get new clients, customers for our business, to get eyeballs on us. But there are people out there who are doing great business, successful business, profitable business without social media, without ever going viral. Yeah. And I agree. I agree with that. But I also agree. I also have another take on that as well. Uh, um, I know, especially a couple of my clients that didn't use social media before, but then once they began to use social media, they were able to make that 200 percent jump. You know, so there's also that aspect of if you aren't using social media, when you begin to use it because you already have the fundamentals, you know, in place, all that good stuff. Now you're going to a whole nother level and now you're taking your business to um, new heights. So I think that's important to mention as well. So not to say that it, it has to only happen on social media, because that's absolutely not true. However, there is another um, stage and another um, up level that you can definitely reach when you utilize the, the tools, the digital tools that are available, especially with all of the changes that are happening consistently over and over. I mean, like every day there's something else new in a digital space. Um, and I just went the other day to get a money order and I'm like, oh, I'm getting a money order. And they're like, we don't sell them anymore. It's like, OK, well, it's like I'm going to pay my utility bill. Oh, we don't do utility bills anymore. OK, so now you don't go to an actual I'm old school, you guys. Sorry, I know I'm digital media and all that stuff, but I feel like <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was about to say, but, yeah, I'll hook that up to my bank and, account. Everything is and, online for me. Exactly. exactly. I don't have that option anymore. Now I have to go, OK, fine. You know, I'll give you access to my bank account. I'm one of those people like, no, not, no, I don't want you to know my number. <laughs> you know, but that's interesting. Speaking of that, I actually have a friend that had a problem with Uber because he only uses cash. He doesn't yeah. do any of that either. So what he had to do is um, go to the 7-Eleven to get a, a, a card so he could use yeah. Uber. But then he couldn't <laughs> use it when he wanted to because the card didn't activate right away. Exactly. <laughs> They forcing us to really embrace these digital services. Really, you're getting forced to. Yeah, you're getting forced to. So, um, and then to hit on that point of uh, social media being free, is uh, since the algorithms have changed, it's yeah. not even really free anymore. You may be able to reach a couple of people, and if you tag someone for sure. But other than that, you have to pay for these platforms. But however, let's look on the flip side of that. It's a lower cost than what you would pay yeah. in the traditional yeah. media space. Um, and it's, you have more access and more, I mean, just think about it. I think about maybe three or five years ago, I'm going to say, I'm going to go with a stretch of even three years ago. We couldn't make our own socks and our own underwear. There was no way for us to upload an image and put it on our underwear and stuff. We can customize all of this stuff and make this stuff now right from our bedrooms. So it's, it's changing rapid, rapidly and we have access to um, all of these different resources and means. So I say all of that to say that April Laura said you don't have to be on social media, which you absolutely you don't have to be. But just look at your model and your business model. I mean, medical is not going That's anywhere. That's really what it's about. Look at your model. Look at look, your business model. Medical staffing is not going anywhere. I, I just um, drove down to um, a college and they're all, they're all bikes. All the bicycle stores are sold out. And I don't think any of those bicycle stores are using social media. However, they're providing a service to to these college students that they need, right? <laughs> so they're looking for them and they're going to them and accessing their services. So really just think about that. I want that to stick out into your mind. How can you provide someone with something that they actually need? Because we have so many coaches. I mean, Evelyn and I talk about this a lot. We have so many coaches and people I want to. I'm a life coach. Yeah. There's a lot of coaches. <laughs> That people want to get into this whole online space and oh, I'm just, which is cool, you know, I'm not hating on it. But at the same time, there's so many other things that you can do as well and provide as without we're talking about today. Yes, 
market yourself to death. So let's get back to beer games matter. So yeah, so um, so thank you all for joining as new people coming in. Again, we want to hear from you. Post your comments in the chat. Um, Who are you? What type of business do you have? Um, Are you in business? Do you want to be business? Um, Right now, today, we're talking about the five lessons that every entrepreneur should learn from the Beard Game Matters group. What happens when you go viral? So the first thing we talked about is do you want popularity or do you want profitability, right? Some of you were saying both. I've seen both in here. But I want you to pick one. What's the most important one to you? Because you got to think about that. Sometimes you're not going to get both. So is it the popularity or is it the profitability? What's the most important to you? So the the second thing um, that, you know, we really thought about when we're looking at this this sort of phenomenon, right, of this group having well over a million people in it, are you ready for viral success? Are you ready for viral success? Right. You just start out, you know, and we've seen it all the time on social media. Recently, I just saw with a woman, um, you know, a plus size model. Right. Where a guy, uh, you know, made some comment. He posted up her picture. He posted up a picture of like a thin woman and he posted up a picture of her. And he basically said something like something about big girls um, always after him, you know, wanting him, you know, or something like that. And, you know, this woman plus size model saw her picture and she was like, I don't want you. (laughs) <laughs> that went viral. Yeah. It went viral. <laughs> and she was completely unprepared for that. She just made a comment back. You know those clapbacks. She just yeah. clapped back and all of a sudden her clap back went viral. Yeah. Yeah. So like we say we want success, but are you even ready for that? Because it could happen at any time in any way. Are you ready for that? And do you actually have a plan for if that happens? Are you able to capitalize on that viral success? Or are you just like a deer in the headlights? Like, oh my God, I didn't even know this was going to happen. What do I do now? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, what's so funny is that I actually listened to an interview of, oh boy, what's the, what's that one chick name that used to be with Kanye West, the one with the short hair, Amber Rose. Amber Rose. Amber Rose. And she said that when she was dating Kanye West, you know, she was just walking around with him, whatever. And then she kind of, you know, all of a sudden people started following her and she was like, she didn't know what to do. She was stuck like a deer in headlights. Like, what do I do? I don't know. I don't know. You know, people are calling her out and inviting her places. Like she said she was doing like um, showing up and doing hosting for like a thousand dollars. She's like, she had no idea. And she was like, I should have been charging way more than that. You know, and she said, I put a link in my bio for people to buy stuff. And that's, and she kind of just happened upon it, you know, and she was like, I didn't want to be famous. People are just, you know, so it's really just, I think, especially as business owners for us, if you want the popularity, if you want the profitability, you really have to look at what comes with that. Because she talked about, you know, okay, she's making all this money now, but then she also has the comments, right? of negativity of you know people uh, calling her out of her name and you know she cries she says she cries almost nightly and stuff like that you know those things and that's where i come in because sometimes again even if it doesn't come in this way but a lot of times we'll ask for things we'll pray for things and then when it happens we don't know what to do there's like an immediate mindset shift that you have to make and if you're not prepared for it this success now could really be a part of your downfall because you just don't even know what to do with it. Exactly. Absolutely. And now you got all these eyeballs on you that are criticizing you, that are, you know, I mean, again, especially on social media, people have no chill. You know, no people way. people have become like internet bullies. They say stuff to you on the internet that they would never say to you in person. You you know, can you handle that? Punks. Posted punks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we talked about that a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah. <laughs> the punk post. <laughs> That's a real phenomenon. I will look you up and find out where you at and then drive to your house. Like, what you say? What you say? What you hashtagging? Like, I'm, that's that's just who I am. I'm just, I'm not with it. But anywho, uh, but beer games matter. So beer yeah, game. So second lesson, are you ready for this success? Are you ready for viral yeah. success? You say you want it, you praying yeah. for it, you asking for it. Are you ready for it when you receive it? What are you going to do when you get it? Yeah. How would you Sylvia, take it? Sylvia says, accidental fame and fortune playing ahead for serious-minded people. 
I like it. Love that. That's absolutely right. Now, are you in the Beer Games Matter group? I want to hear from you. Are you in the Beer Games Matter group? For those of you watching, are you in the Beer Games Matter group? Do you even know what we're talking about? And you, <laughs> and you don't have to be in a group because the lessons are important in and of itself. It's not about the group. It's really yeah. about the lessons learned. But uh -huh. if you're in the group, you know what I'm talking about. You know what we're sitting here talking about. So that's the second. Again, welcome, guys, who are coming in. We want to hear from you. We want to hear your comments. Um, go ahead. I'm certainly shouting people out. Some <laughs> She said, absolutely not. <laughs> and I'm giving you attitude, Sylvia. I don't know if you said it with attitude, but I read it. Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely She's not, not in the group. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm going to add you right now, girl, because you got to see this now. <laughs> so, um, yeah. so for the third, you know, the third lesson that I think is really, really important and I thought this was pretty cool on um, on the founders part of this group. So again, like I said, the point of this group was to sell his beard products, right? So he has this group, men, beautiful men. I ain't even gonna lie, they are beautiful men, but I'm not, I don't know, but you know, maybe because I'm in the DC area, it's not like I'm not used to seeing beautiful men. I've seen some really attractive men with beards. I So I'm not all like, because <gasps> I don't know. I, I'm kind of used to it, I guess. I, maybe I'm a little jaded. I don't know. But anyway, so. Well, I'm a little married. I mean, so I went to Howard University. So, you know what I'm saying? I went to an HBCU. I'm, I'm, I'm used to some gorgeous, fine men. Gotcha. gotcha. So, so, so for you, that, know, that's not, whole, a, not like, oh, yeah, it's cool. You know, oh, okay, that's fine. But I've already seen them in person. I went to the Black Mecca. Ain't no, you know, I've seen it. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I'm married, um, and I told Ava Lord, I'm going to share this with you guys. Uh, my husband got mad. He was like, oh, why are you looking at that? What's that all about? I'm like, dude, I'm researching. We're going to be talking about this. So I just want to see kind of his business model, what he's doing with the group, all that good stuff. I just want to check it out. And he was like, mm, it looks like you're looking at the guys in there. You're not researching. <laughs> like, he's like, what kind of research is that? <laughs> Like, I'm trying to look at his business model and see, you know, because, all right, we're going to talk a bit about his business model in a minute. But, you know, this is no different than maybe an Instagram post, you know, so the, him looking at a female on Instagram. This is no different. You know, the only difference is this is in a, I guess it's kind of contained a little bit to where and it's men and yeah, it's women men. falling all over men. Y'all, the comments are hilarious. I've never seen anything like it. And that's a whole nother subject. I don't even want to go into gender roles and men putting themselves out there for women to be all over them. I've never seen that before. That's a whole nother conversation. Um, I'm trying to focus on business here. But that whole social phenomenon was very interesting to me, too. I'm just saying, because I'm a woman. I ain't falling all over no man. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, so... <laughs> But the reason that I brought that up, so this was his business model, right? Now, this is my idea of what happened. Them beer products wasn't selling. Them people ain't buying no beer products. They're in this group looking at the men and like Jessica said, looking at the comments because the comments are funny as hell. I mean, you read this stuff and you're like, what the heck? Like, are, are women really acting like this? Are they really saying this stuff? So, you know, a lot of times, you know, we're looking at this stuff and People aren't even, comp they're not even trying to buy anything, right? First yeah. of all, there really weren't a lot of buy buttons. That's a whole nother lesson. I didn't even talk about that. But there weren't a lot of buy buttons. And anytime you want people to buy from you, you need to make it really easy for people yeah. to buy from you. So me personally, if I had that group, every post that goes up is going to have a link to my beer products. Exactly. Exactly. That was another thing that I saw as well. So great. Yes. I'm glad you pointed that out. Not a that lot was... of buy buttons in there. You a business, whatever you put out, you want buy buttons. You want easy exactly. way for people to be able to buy. Somebody you to you. click and, yeah. and go. That's it. Because if you make it any harder than that's where they have to actually think about it, then they're not purchasing. <laughs> right. So when I'm, you know, I don't think people were buying those products. So yes. this is what he did. So this is the third lesson here. When do you pivot in your business, right? When do you look at the market and what they want and say, I had this idea, this is what I want as a business, but this ain't selling. I need to pivot and provide what the market wants. And what the market wanted, 
these thirsty women, they wanted some dating. They wanted these men. There's a bunch of single thirsty people and not so single people in there. Um, lusting after each other, like trying to get, you know, yeah. trying to hook up. Hook up. Yep. And so he said, you know what I'm going to do? Eh, forget these beer products. I'm going to start a dating service. Yeah. So he launched a website. Y'all, I want y'all to hear this because I thought this was pretty freaking genius. He yeah. launched a website, right, for men with beards and women who love them who would like to date them. Yeah. Now, yeah. mind you, I said that there were over a million. The last time I looked, it was like a million and 600,000 people in this group. It's probably yeah. more now. So we're talking about over a million people in this group. And to join this dating site, it's 99 cents a month or $4.99 for the year. Now, why is this genius? All this man needs is 10%. Mm -hmm. He don't need, for a million people or not, because listen, most of us are in there just watching, like me and Jessica doing research. We're not buying nothing. He doesn't need everybody to buy. 10%, he's golden. Now, and if he happens to sell it for four ninety nine, and who knows if this website is even going to be up for a year, okay? Let's be real. It's a phenomenon. It might make it two, three months. Exactly. It might not even be up for a year. But he got $4.99. Let's say he got that from 10,000 people. Cha-ching, cha-ching. What did we talk about getting your PayPal popping? Exactly. So what he did was that he looked at his market. Beer products weren't selling. I need to pivot. Yeah. And I need to sell what it is that they want. Yeah. And I know people who actually did sign up for this dating site. Now, I don't know how the dating site is doing because I didn't sign up. But I know people who did. So some people in that group did it. So I want you to think about that with your business. Like when you're really looking at how to make a profit, is what is your business model? Is it working for you? Is the products or the services you sell in working? And if not, what can you do to pivot? Are you doing any kind of market research? What is it that the, the people that you want to attract, what do they really want? And are you able to, pro how can you provide that for them so that you can become more profitable? Yeah. These are things that we have to look at as business owners. And a lot of times what happens that I see is that some of us, we get so stuck in our business idea and what we want to do, we don't actually look at what our customer or our clients or consumers want because we're so in our head about, well, this is my passion, this is my purpose, this is what I want to do, and people are not buying from you because that's not what they want. Yep. And on top of that, tracking as well. Um, I think what he did very, very well is that he started to uh, either track or pay attention to uh, the demographics that were coming in, right? Are these women or are these men? I think that's kind of where he started off at first. <laughs> and then he started to ask them questions and probe the, the interest of the group as well. Hey, where do you guys live? What are you looking for? Are you single? Are you not single? Asking wow. those questions and probing the, the audience to find out who am I talking to here, right? And then what do they want? Um, I really, I mean, I couldn't really tell when it shifted. I tried to go as far back as I could, and then I kind of got lost in some comments too. <laughs> <laughs> but I I'm telling you, just watching the train wreck. It's like, you know, if y'all used to watch the soaps, you watching the soaps, and you know it's trash. Like, you know you don't need to be sitting there watching it, but you just can't turn away. I know, but you're like, who killed her? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in there and I'm going, trying to go as far back as I can to see kind of where it shifted. Because what I think happened is he was posting, you know, pictures of these guys and guys were like, hey, post me, look at my beer. Hey, post me, look at my beer. And these women started to go, hey, where are you from? Like, where do you live? Like, call me or, you know, and he started to see that happening more. And he's like, huh. So if I, I'm not, I don't have it right here in front of me, but if I'm not mistaken, the, the membership service for the dating thing happens in different cities, in different places. So he's targeting different cities to go into those cities and beer, bring bearded men to these women that are like, ah! And then back to what Ava Laura was saying, what, who's going to really come back and say, I want a refund of my five dollars? So it's all just money in his pocket. Money right now. Right now. Right now. Super duper cheap. He has a volume business model. That wouldn't yeah. work for me. 
mine is not volume. It's, it's, it's quality. I'm intimate. I, you know, I only work with a few good people. That's it. But he has a volume model. You got over a million people in your group. 99 cents a month is great. Yeah. <laughs> Again, 10%. You are golden. You're good. Good. Rent so, paid. So, you know, are really good. looking at that. <laughs> Mortgage paid. Right? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad. I am so not mad. Um, and so, again, welcome and some new people coming in. We want to hear from you. We're talking about the five lessons that every business owner should learn, learn from uh, the, the Beard Game Matters group. And again, it's yeah. not about the group, but it's really about the lessons. It's about what can you take away? So we want to hear from you. Who are you? Are you in business? Are you want to be business owner? Um, are you aware of this group? Um, are these lessons speaking to you? Are you learning anything tonight from what we're talking about? Right now, we kind of went through um, three lessons, actually four, because I kind of gave y'all some some bonus ones that I hadn't yeah. even planned to. Um, <laughs> but we've gone over at least you know three lessons that every business owner should learn. So I encourage you, um, if you're just coming in, make sure that after the replay, you go ahead back and watch. And we'll still be looking at the comments. So if you're coming in now, if you're coming in the replay, Feel free to post. We will definitely be reading and watching your comments. Um, yeah. So that's the third thing really about pivoting in your business, really yeah. looking at your market research, looking at who your client, your consumer is and offering what they want. So one right. of the things that I learned in, in my business now you all know I'm a life coach and intuitive consultant, but you know, I got my side hustle is head wraps crowned by Ava Laura, right? And so one of the things that I looked at, first of all, that was that in and of itself came from my consumer. I had absolutely no interest, no plan to sell head wraps. OK, none. But so many people, men and women, I mean, and not just black people, I'm talking about white men, white women, everybody would come to me and say, oh, my God, I love your head wraps. Oh, my God, they're so pretty. Oh, my goodness. How, how, how do you do that? Where did you learn to do that? Africans coming up to me. How did you learn how to wrap your hair? Like it was and, I, and every time I would go out. I mean, if I went to the bank, the grocery store and I was like, wait a minute, there's something to this. Definitely. So I said, hold on. I'm an entrepreneur. I am leaving money on the table because I don't have anything to sell these people. They're just giving me comments. I don't care about no comments. See, I don't okay. care about the popularity. Give me the money. <laughs> money so yeah. I was like, I don't need, I don't, I don't need your validation. I don't need your, oh, you're so beautiful. I don't need none of that. Give me your money. Exactly. So yep. I said, you know what? I need to, I need to start some selling some dang head wraps. Mm -hmm. So that's what I started to do. And then one of the ways that I pivoted is that I said, okay, people like the head wraps. But there's so many women saying, wow, they look great, but I don't know how to wrap my hair. So then one of my pivots was I'm going to start doing wrap parties and showing you and teaching women how to wrap the hair. So like I have an event coming up. Um, if you're here in the D.C. area or around the D.C. area, November 12th, uh, Crown Tea, which is all about helping women, teaching you how to wrap your hair. Lessons that I learned from the process. You can buy your head wraps. And also we have tea. Um, you learn about the healing benefits of tea. We have an amazing tea and dessert bar, and it's amazing. Um, so if you want to attend that, hit me up. Um, there's a whole separate website for that. But just, you know, you can email me, avalora at avalora.com. Yes, I'm promoting myself. This is my show. I can do that. You can email me at avalora at avalora.com. Hit me up, and I'll, I will send you the link uh, to attend that. Because I'm looking at Jessica laughing at me. But that's a pivot. That was something that was not in my plan that I had to pivot. So sometimes so, you really have to do that. And that became a, that's become a whole nother stream of income for me now. Let's also talk about how do you promote yourself during a live stream? So the way that Ava <laughs> that in, <laughs> it's when you are, you, when you're inside of your live stream and you're talking about something that directly correlates to your business and to an event that you have coming up and you talk about it. Right. And, it's so funny because, and I was laughing not at what you were doing, but I was laughing because we had had a conversation a while ago and Ava Laura was like, oh yeah, I'm going to sell some oils and stuff. And so I was cracking up because we'd had that conversation. I don't know, how long was that? Like two years, a year and a half though, two years. Um, but then she kind of pivoted and she did. She went into the hair wraps and that was more of 
listening to her audience because at first she was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do some oils and da 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 da. And I'm like, yeah, do some oils. Da, 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 da. So um, it really, you really just have to take some time out and pay attention and listen because your audience will tell you what they want from you. And the thing about it is, is you just gotta get out there. That's the first step. If you do nothing else, get out there and start with something, whatever it is. I don't care if it's ma magical tricks and pulling rabbits out of hacks and like, hey, somebody else will say, you know, you have a great speaking voice, you know, and then you'll go, oh, well, maybe I should do speaking, you know, and they'll transform and morph you into where you need to be. But if you right. never take that step and you never get out there and start what it is you're supposed to do, you'll never know. Right. So like Ava Laura said, she has several different revenue streams that she has that all center back to her being a life coach, which is her core. Right. And then for me, it's, you know, maternal health and all that good stuff and all the digital stuff that I do. And Leon sending me 50 million messages. I can't read them, Leon. Uh, <laughs> center back to, um, you know, because I bumped into the technology as well. Same thing. Right. Um, digital media. I started off. I wanted to be Lisa Nichols. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get out there and speak to people like Lisa Nichols. And people was like, no. But what I want you to do is show me how you got <laughs> how you got that video up and how you got this going. And, oh, you know about this software? Teach me how to do that. So that's where I started to see, oh, this is what people want to learn from me. You know, don't think that you have to be a duplicate of what you see out there. Really, truthfully, we are still having Black First right now. You know, we are having our Black First happening all over the place. So definitely be the first yeah. one in your in your place. What you're saying is so important, and, and we talk about that a lot on Boot to Boom, is really to just get started. Do get started. something. Just so, take action. You don't have to be perfect. Exactly. It doesn't, you know, and, and true story, when I started this head wraps, I, I tell people all the time, and thank you, Sylvia, who said my head wraps are all that. Thank yeah. you, amazing, wonderful customer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is so important. I did not have a website. I did not have a Facebook page. I mean, I had my my core, I had my life coaching page, but I had nothing. I literally got on Facebook. I actually, at that point, I don't even think it was Facebook. I think it was Periscope. I either did Periscope or Facebook Live, and I got on there and just showed my head wraps, put up a PayPal button, and I sold head wraps. That's yeah. it. I had live streaming and a PayPal button. I heard it. You don't have to be perfect. And okay. so get started. And from that getting started, like Jessica said, your customers, your consumers, your clients will tell you what they want. And then you can listen to them and pivot. Yep. And give but you got to get started somewhere first. Definitely. Definitely. So, so key. So many of you wait to be perfect mm -hmm. to have everything together before you get started. And meanwhile, then it's six months later, a year later, you still ain't make no money. You still working a nine to five and saying you want to be an entrepreneur and ain't done nothing yet. And you're complaining about it, but you've made no attempt to move yourself forward. No attempt. You know, so I always ask myself, what percentage have I given to my business today? What percentage of myself, mm -hmm. of my effort? You know, and I have to be real with myself. Sometimes it's 10 percent. Sometimes it's 20, sometimes it's 50, you know, but I try to give 100% most days, most days. But I'm a mom, so, you know, um, <laughs> but, I, but, I, I but you you're know, a mom and that's a part of your business, too. Oh, it is, definitely. It's really? a piece of it. Y'all see it on Instagram. If, you, if you're not there, follow me on Instagram, IG. It's Jaw Speaks Now on IG. You see all my kids jumping around, acting cool, all that good stuff. New I parents. mean, what do you do when you have six kids? You include that in your business model. Exactly. Digital so that's, media. that's what we're talking about. Like, watch them. <laughs> that's, that's the pivot. They dare anyway. You might as well include them, make them work, you know, make some money with them kids. <laughs> oh, they're going to be the Jackson 5 next. They each going to be playing a guitar, a, a, the piano, one singing. The little one thinks she can sing already. Don't get me started, Lord. So no. that's, that's a pivot. So sometimes the pivot is even just getting started. It is. And that was sitting on did. a fence, waiting. That was really what he did. Um, yeah. And even even with his, his, the, his little deal with the membership thing, it was on like a job form. Right. Nothing like, fancy. Literally, I mean, because you know it came up overnight. Dude, so, the PayPal, you couldn't get the PayPal button up? Okay, but anyway. Uh, 
hey. he had what he needed for people to sign up. That's all that matters. You can make it. You can make it pretty and fancy and amazing and wonderful after. Make yeah. your money. Yeah, after, after you make, I hate. I like I said, I can't hate on them too hard. But since I'm in this, I'm like, but, but hey, just the you first think three, three lessons. Um, uh, and uh, actually, like I was maybe four, because y'all gotten some bonus lessons. So the fourth oh, thing, yes. right? And this is um for my for my sisters. How many black women we got up in here? For my sisters in the house tonight. Listen, ladies. Black magic. Black girl magic is real. Black girl magic is real. We have a significant amount of buying power that we just don't even realize. Not Black only buying women power, but killing the game. If you have a business that is geared to Black women, oh, you will do very well if you know how to sell to them correctly. Because we killing the game. We are consuming. We are buying. We are supporting in business and as consumers. I think we were just talking about it. Nielsen had a study. Um, this came out a couple weeks ago talking about Black women and the impact that we're making in terms of TV ratings. Right. Oh, yeah. Think about uh, every time we're watching TV and we're on Twitter and we're on Facebook, hashtag and scandal and insecure and, you know, whatever it is that we're watching. Like we are literally we have so much power in the marketplace now. We need to be using that. So if you have a business and black women are your customers, you can do extremely well if you are marketing, marketing to them correctly. But I want to see more black women in front of this. You know, and utilizing these tools and producing more and making, um, you know, more things that relate to us because it's it's great for us to consume. And I'm not, you know, knocking that at all. It's great for us to consume. But we also we've talked about this before on the show as well. But we also want to be creators. Absolutely. Like I said, we still have black first that are happening continuously. So we need to be out there. We need to be creating the content that we want to see and the content that's going to help not only us, but the generations behind us. Um, see the different lessons. Um, it's so funny. I, you know, still working on this book that's taken me forever to finish, but um, it's a lot of research. Um, there's so many black women in our history that have done amazing things with way less than what we have absolutely. today. So we have absolutely no excuse but to get out there and become those faces that need to be seen in the public. Absolutely. So I'm going to speak quiet because, girl, I can go on about days and no, days. No, so ladies, that. don't discount your power. Do no. not discount your power we are beyond powerful yes absolutely. you know so what we support what we put our dollars into really matters so you know so i say all of that to say that as consumers really support black businesses support black yeah. women businesses because those dollars matter word of mouth spread the word i talked about that already that you know Yes, the group went viral, but it became really successful a lot from word of mouth. Exactly. So all of these things matter. If you can't support a business directly with your dollars, support it with your mouths. And, you know, we got some big mouths. Yes. Tell, tell <laughs> your mama, tell your sister, tell your auntie. I just got a new client yesterday. And I was like, where'd you come from? Her sister. And where'd her sister come from? Another friend. Word of mouth. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Support your black businesses. So our art, we, we, we matter. You know, we, we definitely have some powerful voices in the marketplace. So we just need to be using them responsibly. Don't let anybody tell you different. We make a difference. We definitely do. Not only do we make the difference, but we make the trend. Okay. We the ones that make Yes, we do. Yes. But we, 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 that's a whole nother subject. Yeah. We already know this. <laughs> so yeah. many things that we have started. Uh, yes. And people are just jacked from us. Speaking yeah. of jacking, and the fifth lesson learned from um, the Beer Game Matters group, as a business, one, you can look at his business model, right? As Because, you know, as a business owner, I'm a student of people's businesses, right? I think that's just something that goes hand in hand. If you're successful, I want to know how you did it. If you're not successful, I want to know how you did it. I'm a Absolutely. student of, of business and entrepreneurship. So that's one thing, studying the business model. But the second thing is you don't need to recreate the wheel. If someone is successful, if you see a competitor who is successful, 
Man, go ahead and jack away. Yeah. <laughs> jack, jack, jack. There are businesses, and I'm not going to call them out, even though they call themselves out, but there are businesses that literally sell uh, similar products, and they went and jacked these people. They said, oh, I'm going to do some market research, too. So where are these people coming from? Well, I'm going to run some Facebook ads that target these people. Exactly. I'm going to jack these hashtags. Yep. I, listen, I'm going to tell you, there's a competitor, Head Wraps. I jack that hashtag all the time. Yep. <laughs> Ain't no shame in my game. I'm going to jack the hash. That hashtag works. I'm jacking it. If I see someone that's creating an awesome video and it has a little logo at the bottom, guess what I'm doing? Going to that site, downloading that software. I'm like, boom, sliding in there right quick. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like when, uh, what's that one that came out? That one with the, with the images and the movies. Um, Laura, I can't think of the name of it. But um, it, when that sucker came out and everybody was, I was like, oh, downloading that, making this video real quick. And, you know, it's, it really truthfully is that you do not have to reinvent the wheel. Of course, you want to make sure that you're not stealing anyone's wording, you know, plagiarism. Yeah, no, we're but, not talking about plagiarizing. But... I mean, looking at their funnel and how they set it up, I'm gonna tell you all day. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. We, we cool, right? We, we all, we all family in here. We all family. <laughs> we gonna keep it real. I have clicked on many of Facebook ads just to see what they funnel look like. Signed up, like, oh, okay, they using, oh, and they using lead pages, and then they go on the, and look at the way that they set up their funnel. Because that's where you learn the best information. You know, I have an email account that I send all that good stuff to. Um, and I apologize to anyone that has spent money on me looking at your funnel. But <laughs> I think in the long run, you're definitely helping out because I have six kids. So you're helping a family. Okay. You're not just giving me free tips. Um, you're helping my family. So, and that's another point I wanted to point out. Whenever you donate or you uh, dedicate money or you invest in a black woman's business, you're investing in their family as well. Right? So make sure you keep that and, in our and a community because we and give back. Like we, we just do is who we are. Absolutely. We don't and we keep support, stuff to ourselves. We support our community. Right? Absolutely. And I think, I, think um, I can't think of anyone else that does it as much as we do. Um, you know, and we are the heads of our communities in most instances. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to get too big on that. But um, follow it, you know, look at the way that they've put together. If you find something that's interesting to you and you're like, oh, they're giving you a freebie of blah, 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 sign up for it, but then look and pay attention to how they're, what their sequences are. How many emails are they sending you? What's in those emails? What do you like? What did, what don't you like? All that good stuff. Like Ava Laura said, we, we have to become students of this, of the information that we receive, right? Um, because a lot of us, we don't have a lot of money to go invest in a Tony Robbins, day of blah, 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 whatever craziness and then he's charging right so we definitely need to take those moments to sit back and become students and jack as much as we can because really truthfully let's just be real about it originators of most of this stuff is us so well, um if there's so, Sylvia agrees she said jack the notion and run with it carla said yeah. free competitor analysis nothing wrong with that that's right, girl. And uh, right. to answer your question, Carla, yes, the next Boot to Boom will be live streamed here on Facebook. We actually, our guest next week is Rick Mathis. He's going to be talking about uh, his new film. Um, oh, God, and the film just slipped my mind. What's the name of the film? Black Friday? Yeah. What is it? Black Friday was the last Yes, time. thank you. Black Friday, too. Thank you. Woo! There we go. Yes, that's why you. That's why you have a co-host. I'm here today. I don't know about Ava Laura, but I'm here today. That's that's why you have a co-host. So yes, we will be live streaming next week right here. Uh, but our normal our normal home is YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe to our new two channel our YouTube channel at Boot Number Two Boom. Uh, we'll post that in the chat for you all to watch. That um, we have tons of interviews. Um, with amazing, amazing guests. Uh, but Jessica and I decided, you know, that we wanted to just try Facebook out, check it out. We wanted to hear from you all. So we appreciate your comments and your questions. Um, we're certainly here answering it. And um, I think we have, uh, oh, those, are la those are five. Oh my gosh, yeah, those are five, which is good because we're really almost at the top of the hour and we do try to keep these shows at an hour because Jessica and I can go on and on and on. 
<laughs> if you're just coming in, welcome. Feel free to watch the replay. Feel free to comment because we will be watching the comments even after this is over. We want to hear from you all. If you want to contact me directly, you can email me at abelora at abelora.com. You can get Jessica at, uh, Jessica, what's your email? <laughs> I was waiting for it. Y'all speaks at gmail.com. I got a Gmail, y'all. Hey, hate all you want, hate all you want, but right now that's I'm what I'm advertising is. Ava Laura, not Gmail. But anyway, that's well, guess right what? There. Guess what? <laughs> the website is y'all speaks. Hey, all the where's mine? Where's mine? Uh, but anywho, <laughs> but anywho, if you guys. <laughs> But we're also here on Facebook, so you guys feel free to message me on Facebook. If there's another topic that you want us to discuss, if there's something else that's going viral, um, like our president throwing paper towels at people, um, that you want us to discuss, it has to do with, <laughs> has to do with business relations um, and how he should be gone. Um, fired. Yay! All right, so... You guys definitely contact Ava Laura at avalora.com. And I am Jessica. You can go to jawspeaks.online and you can see my website there and all of its greatness. I did it myself and it's awesome. I just updated it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, we are, again, we are boot to boom. We are all about taking entrepreneurs from bootstrap to booming. We are here every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. We're here to get your PayPal popping, your business booming, and your life and relationships to explode. And we really hope that these tips helped you all. We want to hear from you. What tips helped you the most? What did you learn tonight? What can you do differently in your business? What can you improve upon? What's something that you realize maybe you could have been doing that you haven't been doing? What's something that you need help with? And like Jessica said, what do you want to know more about? We are here for you. And are you going to join the Beer Games Matter group after this? <laughs> and, <let us> <laughs> join. and if you would like us to hook you up for 99 cents, please send us an email. <laughs> We're going to have some bearded businessmen on here. Oh, you know what? That would be a great segment. Bearded businessmen on Boots Boom. I can't do that. I'll let us know. I can't do that. I can't do Nothing wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> as long as you listen to what they're telling you and not less than over them. But um, <laughs> listen, not less than. <laughs> Learn all you can. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your comments and your questions. We will see you here next Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern to get your PayPal popping, your business booming, and your life and relationships to explode. Have an amazing evening, guys. Good night. <laughs>